Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. In a previous video, I installed two pumps side by side and ran them in parallel. And it worked pretty good. We basically doubled the water up top and uh, people were saying, what happens if you run a ram pump in series? Meaning there's one pump and then down a little ways, there's a second pump. I don't think it's gonna work because there's not enough flow coming out of the first pump, uh, the delivery side, to get the second pump running because it will require basically the same amount of water you had up top, which most of that is being lost through the waste valve. So let's go ahead and give this a test just to see what would happen. Now, it may possibly work if you were to use a larger pump on your first stage and then drop down to the smaller pump. Um, but for this test, we're just gonna do the same size pump and see what happens. So let's go ahead and set up this system and see what happens. Normally, you would use a creek or small river as your water source. For my testing ground here, I just have a five gallon bucket. It's got a float valve inside and a couple different size outputs. We're gonna be using the half inch pump, so I'll use that. And then I've got some storage tanks up on my hill that my main ram pump delivers to. And so I'm just gonna pull water from that into my five gallon bucket. Okay, just here in my little garden is where I attach this hose to. And that just comes off the hill from my storage. I'm gonna use the pump with the board as my first stage. It's got a half inch PVC drive pipe. I'm just gonna attach this to my bucket. The drop down to this bucket is somewhere around two to three feet, so that should be good. So from here, I'm gonna attach the second drive pipe down to the second pump. We've got a 20 foot drive pipe on the first. Hey, it's an acorn or something. I've got a 20 foot drive pipe on the first pump and then a 20 foot on the second. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to install an adapter real quick to go from the threads to this socket. For the second pump, I've just got the drive pipe coming down here. And I'm just going to use this piece of PVC to uh, prop it up just like this. There are a couple reasons that I think this is not going to work. Number one, there's not gonna be enough flow from the first pump to the second pump to get it to cycle consistently. The second thing is that the drive pipe needs to have an open to air source. So the first one's got the bucket, which is open to air. The second one is gonna have a lot more pressure behind it. And I don't think it's going to allow the valve, the waste valve here to cycle. So that's my predictions. And I think this one won't run and that one will do just fine. So let's see if I'm wrong and we will go ahead and test this out. That's called a float valve. When it floats, it turns it off. When it drops down, it turns it back on. <laughs> All right, here's the drive pipe. Opening that up. Should see some bubbles come out there. Nope, it just closed the valve down here. So all the air came down. Don't right. know what team you're doing. What am I doing? Pushing this valve? Ah! <laughs> it's gonna splash you. So the delivery valve is closed over here, which means this pump, as the waste valve is being pushed down, will begin to build pressure in the pressure tank. So it won't take long before this begins to cycle on its own. There we go. Clean your foot. <laughs> okay, so this one is running just fine as we would expect. Let's go ahead and open up the delivery pipe 
And that's first of all going to send water down here. Now, I think she's gonna go ahead and keep cycling that one. Yep. So, let's go ahead and open this. It's got some air inside, so we're gonna to have to purge that out. See if we can get all the air out of here. Pretty good spray, huh? Uh oh, it's got you wet. Alright, see when that one closes, more water comes down here. But I still don't think it's gonna be enough to close this second valve. It's gonna splash you. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> oh dear. Is it going? All right, there you go. It's going by itself. All right, I'm gonna turn on this one and see if it'll work the other one. I can feel the pressure become less and less as the uh, amount of water in the pipe goes down. Yeah, and then it's out of water there. You can see whenever that one cycles up top, it produces more water down here. Oh, that might be our culprit. Some air. Yep, that's definitely an issue. Hold the phone. All right, well that's got enough water somehow to operate. <laughs> Whenever she pushes that valve up there, this one cycles faster and then stops. Keep pushing it, let it, uh, let it go there. I spent a little time trying to get the two to cycle together. This one's doing better than I expected. Yeah, you got some water. I never thought this one would have enough water to cycle, but it did. The problem is, that one up there, as soon as you try to cycle it, the pressure is sent downhill further, operates this one stronger, and that one up there is never able to actually start cycling. So I think maybe that's gonna be our issue with these two pumps, at least with the same size. Maybe if I were to step this one up to an inch and a quarter, it would have enough water coming down to cycle that. Um, but I guess maybe what it would do is add more pressure to the second pump as if it were going to have more head pressure. So maybe it would increase the lift potential. I'll have to revisit this with a bigger pump on the first stage. Okay, I may be wrong. It may be possible to run two ram pumps in series and have the second one with increased pressure as long as you've got a bigger pump up top that can force enough water down to the lower one. I don't know yet. I'll have to um, come back and try this out. But um, anyway, thanks for all the suggestions you have on testing ram pumps. I appreciate them. If you've got some more, leave those in the comments down below. I'd be happy to test out your ideas. In the meantime, I think we're going to uh, play in the water for a while. <laughs> uh oh, right in the face. <laughs>